Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your Apple ID on your iPhone. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is go into your setting and then you'll see your Apple ID that's signed in. You're going to tap on that. Now what we need to do is first sign out of this one. So you're going to go to the very bottom and there's an option that says sign out. So you're going to click on sign out and then you need to enter your Apple ID password, which I'll do right and now. And once you enter your Apple ID password for that account, you're going to click on turn off up top here. And it's going to go ahead and sign you out by after you click on sign out up here and then confirm. And basically it's going to remove your iCloud data from this phone with that account so that you can sign in with the new account now. So you can change your account. So all you'll have to do is click on over here and then if you have another account that you'd like to change to you can manually sign in or bring the other device close to you here and then all you do is go ahead and enter that Apple ID email or phone number and then password and it will go ahead and sign you in which will change your Apple ID account now another place you also want to check out is if you did this in the App Store here so the App Store is where you're downloading apps sometimes it can have a different account so you go open up App Store click on your profile and then you're going to make sure you're signed in with the new account. If you're signed with the old one, you need to sign out and sign in into the new one, just like that. And then final thing to check is in your settings, go to apps. And then from the apps here, two apps, you're going to look at messages. First one, you're going to make sure you're signed in with the new account there. And then FaceTime. So these are so people can reach you with your new Apple ID account as well. So once you do that, you'll be able to go ahead and change your Apple ID with this option. Keep in mind, if you need a new Apple ID, you can always create a new one in the sign-in where it says don't have an Apple account, and then you can create one just like that. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.